In this video, we're going to take a look at activity 3.1.5, variables and functions, using the VEX V5 testbed and VEX code V5. And we're going to look at part three, which is called defining a function. So we're going to go through the steps on how to create a function and define it within VEX code V5, and then create a turn LED function on. And then in part four, we'll look at how to reuse that function in one of the previous codes that we created. So I'm going to go into VEX code V5. This is our part two code. So I'm going to go ahead and go to file, save as, and this was from part two B. I'm going to change this over to part into part three and hit save. And what I can do here is I'm actually going to keep this code active because they in part four will reuse it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and go into my blocks. And I'm going to say to make a block. And in the block name, we're just going to choose turn, and I believe the term we turn on LED. And I'm going to hit enter. And when I do that, let me downsize my window here, I can go ahead and say OK. So now on my program, I've got define what turn LED on means. So in the activity, we want to say if the bumper switch is pressed, we want to turn it on. Otherwise or else, we want to turn it off. So I'm going to go ahead and go into VEX code, go to control, and say go ahead and grab an if else statement and connect it to our uh, defined turn LED on. Go into sensing, grab our bumper switch. So if the bumper is pressed and in looks, we're going to go ahead and we're going to set the LED to on and otherwise or else we're going to turn it off. So now in the my blocks you're going to see I have a turn LED on block here the which I can go ahead and use. So now we can go ahead and we can always connect this on into a when started and forever loop which let's go ahead and try that out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab the event handler off of that part two code and we'll just make up a real simple program here grab my control section do a forever loop and we'll grab a comment this is the part three provided code and in my variables I'll grab the turn LED on and snap that in there. So now I have to, I'm going to download. I'm going to hit run. And now if I press my, my button, the LED up here will turn on. If I let go of it, it turns off. And there it's just looping that program. So there is the function being used by one block, but we have to make sure to keep it defined. So that way it can call the function when we go through and it gets to the command block that we have. So that right there will test it. We press the bumper switch and that finishes up activity 3, 1, 5, part 3. In the next video, we're going to take a look at reusing the function in our part 2 code that we wrote and allow us to see how to utilize it in various ways.